morning welcome to the vlog it's early in the morning it's 5 a.m actually i'm getting ready to head to chicago remember we told y'all that brandon's friend um his father actually passed so we're going out there for that um so we're actually getting ready to head out in like the next five minutes but i turned on the camera because now remember when skims came out with their like active wear I was so hesitant to get it because I felt like maybe it was hype or whatever. But when I tell y'all, this is the best I've ever felt in loungewear ever. Like, it's so comfortable. The material feels like butter and it holds you in everywhere that you need to be held in. And I love this green color. It's so cute. So pretty. Like, I'm not even kidding. I did not realize how good her active wear is. because I always wear Brandon's denim jacket when I go to the airport it's just comfortable and I can stuff everything I need in there but uh yeah we packed last night super late y'all I don't know why we wait till the last minute every single time to pack but we did and we paid for it because we literally only got like four hours of sleep so super tired but we live so far from the airport, so our flight has to be early. I'm so sad to leave the house, though. Like, uh, it's so beautiful. We cleaned up really good last night, so when we walked in, you know, it would be nice and clean for us. But I'm going to miss this place. My face is probably crusty, y'all. Don't look too close. It's early, okay? Our little fishies are going to be gone um, all by themselves. But you know what we didn't get? We didn't get the, the fish food. We forgot to get the fish food that feeds them for days. Huh? Oh, okay, we did. Thank God. Because we were going to come back and they were going to be dead. But, um, yeah, so we headed to the shy. I think we'll be back um, Monday. So, that's that. I really just came on to show y'all this outfit because, y'all, it just is worth the hype. It's actually, it's not hype. It's real, what everybody's saying about it. it, it oh, my God. Like, ooh, this is the best active wear that I have, honestly, that I've ever, 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 ever put on my body. And it's staying in the right places, you know? We're gonna be gone so long. I just went ahead and started clearing out the refrigerator. So this is everything that's about to go bad, maybe in like, I don't know, like a week or so, or a couple of days. Um, so I just pulled everything out because I don't want the refrigerator to stink when we get back. But it feels so good to have a clean, clear fridge. I still need to wipe it down. But um, yeah, I just woke up and I was like, you know what? I should probably do that. I'm trying to decide if I should just go ahead and get rid of like this. Because the thing is, by the time we get back, it's just not going to be good. And I just refuse to come home to a smelly refrigerator. But, um, yeah, I'm just going to take care of that now, get all this stuff thrown in the trash, run the dishwasher, because I need to actually figure out what time we leave tomorrow, but I'm pretty sure it's early in the morning. Um, <clears throat> I got a new luggage. Actually, Brandon and I both got a new luggage, so this is it. So cute. I love his. That's his. And then mine is a cute little purple one. I love the, um like material of it is so cute and we got the we made sure this time to get one that had the zipper where it can expand the suitcase because we always 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 need extra room i don't know what it is about us packing but we just don't do that great of a job at it because <laughs> we always have to like sit down on our suitcases to close them brandon still got all his stuff like laid on the table because we're gonna try to like match up our outfits to see what we're gonna like wear to dinner and stuff like that and all of my stuff is still over here on the rack um but we're planning to do that when he comes home today because we just could not do it last night we had so much to do like apply for the visa and everything but i'll probably go through some of this stuff later but i thought this dress was so cute from target something to just throw on really chill i like the bottom because it has fringe on it or whatever 
And then I got those cute little sandals because I needed some white ones. Oh, those came from Zara. And I don't know if I told y'all, but I am re-wearing so many things this trip. And I'm so proud of myself. What I did was I just started in my closet. And usually I never do that. I'm usually the type that just like orders everything brand new. But this time I was like, you know what? I'm just going to pull out everything that I have not worn in like a year plus or things that I ordered two and three years ago. Like this dress that still has a tag on it. And I literally ordered this dress in our last apartment last summer. Or so, and I have not yet to wear it. And it's so cute. And then what I just did is I just grabbed like a couple of things. Like I grabbed like a white tank top. Um, and then like this little dress from Old Navy. I thought it was cute because of a little shoulder detail. But I literally grabbed like three or four pieces. And aside from that, everything else I've been having, some of these things just came from in from she in because I'm getting ready to do a video with them. But they sent some really cute stuff, y'all. She in is they're coming up even more. These jeans, I kid you not, when I try them on, y'all. Oh my gosh, they are some of the best jeans I had. Like I had to check the tag again just to make sure it was actually from Shein. So I'm going to link these below actually. Like these are the best fitting jeans. I'm hoping I get to wear them on vacation. If not, I'm going to do a video in them anyway pretty soon um, because I have a video to do with them. And then this dress is adorable. Look at that detail. So cute. I love the little buttons. But yeah um what else do i have i have so many things y'all i'm just trying to make sure I, oh this dress is so cute it's got like the sides out i love the color just adorable so yeah i have so many options and i'm just so glad i started in the closet first before i just ordered a bunch of stuff that i didn't even need here's another thing with tags on it that i got from zara like four weeks ago when my mom was here have yet to wear it so yeah i'm really proud of myself this trip i am doing my thing and this dress has been with me on two vacations and i have yet to wear it, wear it. this is from house of cb i think a little silk number so it'll be cute for dinner one night but yeah um when he comes home we're gonna just kind of like tackle that and match up everything i don't know if we're I mean, I see a lot of couples do it, but we are really, like, serious about having a couple dinner outfits that match each other. So, you know, we look coordinated. Um, so, yeah, that's, like, one of my favorite things to do. Brandon didn't used to like it, but now he's, like, loves it. As you can see, he's got his stuff just spread out everywhere, trying to make sure that we can, uh, you know, match on some stuff. But I'm getting ready to put all that food in the trash. And then wait on his contractors to get here. Um, and then make me some coffee and just kind of chill. I'm extremely tired and jet lagged, y'all. Like, I am so exhausted. Oh, I forgot to tell y'all that I got my hair redone. And it looks so good. I'm so happy about it. It looks so much better than it did. Um, because, yeah, I was looking at hot mess. Because I don't know what it was, but I feel like, oh, well, my sister, I was going to say, Back in the day, braids used to last a lot longer, in my opinion. But my sister was saying that the reason that they didn't last that long is because they were knotless, which I didn't take that into consideration. So I didn't realize that knotless braids don't last as long as like regular box braids, if you know, you know. But um, yeah, she did so good. Actually, I had posted on my... <laughs> Instagram I was like can somebody please do my hair before Thursday because you know we leave tomorrow and uh I, my hair was a hot mess and the trip was unplanned unexpected and luckily actually this girl I went to school with her name is Dominique and I'm gonna leave her stuff in the description box if you guys are in the DFW area and want to go to her but we actually go to school together well we went to school together and she was the first person to reply. I was like, oh my gosh, thank you, Lord. Because I didn't even think about, I didn't even think about her. I don't know why it just didn't even cross my mind. But so, I got so many braid recommendations. So just in case I don't want to drive all the way to where she lives, which was like over an hour. Um, 
then I know people that I can, you know, contact that are in the area. But I went ahead and booked her because I was like, dude, I knew she did good anyway. But uh, yeah, the drive was definitely not fun. But she was so fast. Dude, that's another thing. Box sprays used to take like eight hours to get done. They literally take half the time now. And she was by herself. So super fast. And yeah, I love the hair. It came out really good. It looks really cute. I can't wait for it to loosen up. Um, that way it can, you know, get all flowy and stuff. But what am I getting ready to do? I really, really, really want some coffee. So I'm going to make me some coffee before I leave. Because I've been trying to cut back on my Starbucks, y'all. I don't know what it is, but I will get into these modes where I won't have Starbucks forever, right? And then out of nowhere, I'll just get back into this freaking horrible cycle of just leaving the house, going to get Starbucks everywhere I'm at, Target, grabbing Starbucks. Like yesterday I was in Target and I grabbed Starbucks and I'm like, why did I even do that? Like that is so unnecessary. But um... Yeah, I'm going to make me some coffee at home, especially because we need to use as much creamer and milk because those are things I really hate throwing away. Y'all just threw away a full garbage bag of food and I feel horrible about it. I hate throwing away food, but we've been gone, you know, over the weekend to Chicago and there's just no way it's going to last. So I had to throw it away. Some of it was already bad anyway um, because it was like fruits and stuff because even the Chicago trip was unplanned. You know, we went for a funeral. Which that was another thing, y'all. I was cracking up at myself when I got on the plane because on the plane to come home. Because I started to think, like, I swear I told them that the next time I turned on the camera, we would be in Chicago. But, y'all, it was so, we had such a good time. We went for a funeral, but it ended up just being, like, a really, really, really nice time with Brandon's old friends. And, well, his current friends, but, you know, the, his childhood friends and their family. Like, they got all their moms together, and we went to Red Lobster and had dinner. Um, it was just such a good vibe, you know? I, we just didn't feel, we just didn't want to pull out the camera and just, like, you know, ruin it, have everyone be, like, on guard, and, you know? We were just having such a good time. On that, on top of the fact that, dude, we were just having so much fun, we forgot like those are the best moments in life you know you just cherish those and hold them so dear to your heart because you're just really living in the moment and it feels so good but after i have my coffee i think that i'm going to oh i need to go to walgreens because i'm out of foundation um and my mirror broke my little face mirror that i used to put on my mascara it broke so i need to get another one of those but um yeah that's the plan for today and then i'm just gonna come home and just try to get my mind right recharge my social battery because i'm gonna need it okay <laughs> oh i don't and you guys where we're going we're meeting brit and Mur there they also got invited on the trip so really excited to link back up with them maybe we'll get some fun content for you guys but uh yeah that's kind of like a little hint so yeah, but it's 8.30 and I need to get a move on it because if I don't leave now, okay, coffee, <sighs> y'all. My mind lately is just all over the place with everything we have going on. <sighs> Your girl is just, oh my gosh, dude. I need an assistant at this point. Would it be a vlog if we didn't do a haul? Absolutely not. So here's this um, robe that I ordered, y'all. Oh my gosh. Talk about freaking quality and oh, it just feels like a freaking towel. So nice. It's um, really long, like floor length. And it's like this, uh, I don't know, I want to call it like a champagne color, but it's from Joyer Skin. Oh, I cannot wait to shower and wear this. Like I have an obsession with robes. Um, then I bought this candle holder. I know it looks kind of funky, but it's going to be so cool when it's like, you know, styled and I got some candles. I love these candles because they came with different colors, like different tones. It's really hard to find stuff like that. So I really love it. I think I want to try to, cause I bought them cause I have, um, right now I'm kind of having like this little obsession with candle holders, but um, I thought that that would even look nice, for instance, if I wanted to f switch out the white and put the cream in this one. So I thought that was a vibe. 
neutral tone, super cute. Or I could even swap this out and put the black one up here. So let's just see how that looks actually. I just wanna show you guys how it looks. I have no idea what I was even doing at the store. I also went to the store, y'all, so I gotta show you what I got from there. And of course, ugh, I didn't realize this was, well, I did realize it. I just don't know what made me not order um, two sets because they came in sets of two. And obviously I'm needing another piece for this candle holder. Okay, this one's too tall to go right here, but... Ah! Oh, please don't break. I thought it was about to break. Okay, well, it passed the fall test. That's good. Because some candle holders are really cheap, or candles are really cheap, and they don't stand past that. So oh, I'll just put this one here so you can see how it looks. But it's so nice. So cool. Look at that. Candles are all crooked. But it's that not the coolest little funky little candle holder you've ever seen? I love it. So cute. But I'm going to have to order both sets again so I can have a third one. I mean, it's kind of cool with them being, um, you know, like one being a little off color. But I like that. It's really cool. Kind of edgy. Different. You know, I like little different pieces that you don't see in everyone's house. So, this one is still new, and I'm still in love with it, so I'm going to leave it here for now. Um, and then I'm just going to find something else to do with um, this one. But I just wanted to get it because I feel like it's absolutely gorgeous. So gorgeous. And I'll put the other one in there for now. And in that way, I can put these in the other gold candle holder the candle holders that I have so yeah but I love that thing it's so cool it looks so weird without the third one. Oh my gosh I'll just put this in there for now okay oh enough of the candle holders but so cool I need to oh I need to order that like right now the other ones anywho yeah so you got that Okay, then let me see what else I got. Um, I got a PR package from this site called Shixen Beauty. And it's like a red lippy. So that's pretty cool. I don't know if you guys have heard of the brand. I've never heard of them, but I'm definitely going to try this color on vacation. And they also gave me a... Um, Looks like a CBD face balm. Not sure what that's about, but I'm interested. So I'll try it, you know. My skin's not sensitive, so I can try pretty much anything and just know if I'm going to like it or not based on how it blends and meshes with my other products. So luckily, I can, you know, just try a lot of skincare when I want to. Then I had to go to Walgreens. I got my favorite. This is my go-to, y'all. This is my ride or die. The Maybelline Matte Fit Me Foundation in color 360 Mocha. That's what I'm wearing right now. It just, ooh, it's just like the best color for me, like year round. Now my shade does tend to fluctuate a little bit, which really sucks when I'm trying like new foundations and stuff like that. But this I can pretty much wear up until, I don't know, maybe like winter time I'll get like a little shade lighter. But thankfully I'll have like a PR um, foundation that I can usually just try and I have on, on board. But I noticed this one is, this tends to be like my go-to. I've purchased several bottles of this. I love the Fit Me foundation. Then... I bought a bonnet because my other one was so raggedy. It had holes in it, y'all. So I got a bonnet. And then I told y'all my little face mirror broke. So I bought a mirror because I like to put on my... Okay, so here's a tip. I don't know if y'all know this. But I realized when I put on my mascara in a mirror versus like... I mean, in a mirror like looking down like this 
versus just in the bathroom mirror looking straight ahead. My lashes come out like way fluffier, bigger, longer when I just look down into a mirror like this. So I love to keep a little handheld mirror for my mascara. And I've been doing that for a couple months now ever since I realized that crap, like it makes a difference when you look down and you're able to like dig deep and push up, push those lashes up, you know. Today, they're not popping because I had to do them in the regular mirror and I don't know what the difference is, but it really is a difference. And then I bought some sunscreen because we're going to need a lot of it. Plus, if y'all are like OGs, you know that I actually use this stuff on vacation and like when I'm going out and stuff like that, if I want to just be like super glowy and shiny looking, you know, like, um, just, you know, that sheen over your body, this is the best hack ever, the Neutrogena sunscreen. And it doesn't have a smell, so you can spray it and then put your perfume on top and nobody's ever gonna know you're wearing sunscreen. So I love that about this. It has like a initial smell, but then after like, by the time you get your keys and grab your purse and walk out the door, it's gone. But I'll spray it like on my chest area and I'll probably show y'all on the vlogs um, for my trips that we got coming up. But I just spray it on like my chest area and arms. I mean, it's sunscreen, so it's like a two in one thing. You know what I mean? So, but if I'm just going out, I'll just spray the front of my legs and then I'll spray like my chest area if I have like an open shirt on. So, little hack. Y'all, I keep looking down because he peeled the rug back to do some work on the kitchen cabinets. And I keep looking at those thinking they're like roaches or something. But it's just the little Velcro strips that attach to the rug. Oh, this is also, I guess it kind of answers a question for some of you guys. Um, I think I had some questions on Instagram, but they were like, how are you going to get your rug up? And I'm like, okay, well, it, um, you know, they look like little Velcro straps. So when I roll the rug back, I'm just going to attach it to the Velcro here and it'll be stuck down again. Okay. Then... I went into at home and I got some little baskets for the laundry room. I loved these. I thought they were so cute because they like dip down like that. And it's like a really, really, really deep, dark brown that almost goes with black, uh, passes for black. So I love, love, love these. At home has some really good stuff, y'all. Like do not sleep on at home. I love them. Then I found some little pillows for our little bench area here um i just wanted some pillows there i don't know why i just did um and then i found these vases there this one's not gonna stay this color but i got it because it was super big for the wall and um i'm probably gonna match it to like that kind of vibe but i just put it up there for now so it won't get broken or anything but um that thing is so huge i love it so much um so yeah, I'm trying to get the laundry room together, like the decor and stuff. I know that sounds so extra, but if you are not new here, y'all already know we're just extra over here and it's always going to be that way. But uh, yeah, so that's what I got from at home. And, and what else did I do today? That was it. I feel like I've been running all over the place and I didn't even go where I was supposed to go. So what happened was I drove to the mall. Cause I was gonna look for brand a shirt for Brandon, um, just like an extra shirt. We don't really need anything else for the trip, but you know, like little last minute good finds. And they weren't open. It was like ten forty, and at home was right next door. And I went in there and walked around for like an hour and ended up buying all that stuff. And I was like, you know what? Let me just take my butt home. I don't need to buy anything else because that was so unnecessary. I'm dying to try this robe on. So I'm going to. So it's a size extra large. I usually always go extra large because I love a oversized robe. I don't like when they fit um, snug. Okay, this is perfect. Oh my gosh. Look at this robe, y'all. Wow, wow, wow. So comfy. So I'm typically like a size medium. So I would say you could wear this if you're a medium to large or even extra large it's pretty oversized so a lot of people can fit it but i think she has another size on there too but i just got this one because i like it 
big. But look at this robe, y'all. Wow. So, oh, and it's got pockets. What? I didn't even realize it had pockets. So cute, comfortable. It goes all the way to the floor, which is my fave. Oh my God, it feels so good. And it was on sale, so I had to add it to the collection. And on top of that, I just love the color against my skin. Wow. Is it reversible? I wonder if it could be reversible to the white side. I don't know. But, and there's another color on the side too. But I'll link this one that way y'all can see. But it kind of matches the house, you know? So I got the neutral color, of course. Okay, what else did I get today? That was it. Now I'm just waiting on my honey to come home. And we're going to try to get these outfits together, y'all, because we leave here at 11 tomorrow. And it's going to take us an entire day to get to where we're going. But, um, yeah, we leave at 11 a.m., which means we have to leave here, our house, by like, not, no, like 8 30 maybe because we're in like an hour from the airport and then you're supposed to get there like an hour and 30 to two hours before so uh but anyway basically we're leaving early tomorrow and yeah i need to get my life together but that's all that i got for right now y'all already got side check <laughs> side check sidetracked and started styling the laundry room i took the other vase out because i didn't like it with that one um but i just put a couple things in here some towels and a cute little baskets and then the pillows over here so this is it for now i'm waiting on the um chandelier and the rug to come in and then it'll be complete cute neutral of course calming makes me happy actually working on our clothes and are we just extra or do you guys do this too but we put like brandon's outfit here my outfit and then we take we take like pictures of them that way we know when we get to the place wherever we're going that the outfits go together so i learned that from somebody i don't remember who but yeah we just print finished like putting our outfit the ones that we want pictures in anyway we put those to the side took pictures of them so they're on my phone so we know when we get there, you know, that's what we're going to wear for the day and take pictures of it. We still got a long way to go because look at that rack. And he still got some clothes on the table we got to clear off. But so, so far, this is so good. I'm excited. Do, do, do other people do this? or I just, I literally just said the same thing. Because <laughs> I'm just, this is literally what we do. You yeah. Know, we coordinate stuff. And it. Everything's not going to be coordinated, but we try to do as much as we can. Yeah. Get some good picks because, I mean, we fly. You know what I'm saying? The yeah. sudden are the stuff. Okay? Yep. Period. So we're going to go and run to the mall because, or I don't know where we're going to go, but we want to find him something to semi go with this, though I think it's going to be pretty hard, but we're going to try our yeah, best we... anyway. Um, oh, you, I wanted you to try on those glasses because I, I feel oh, like sorry. these glasses would be That's cute. You, doing. you were doing a video, man. You forgot. But um, because I feel like it goes with this. Yeah, I was trying to cut the shower. Well, go ahead, bro. Yeah, go ahead. All right, let's see. Do they fit? Uh, I don't know if I want you to have them. They look kind of cute though. No, they'll be cute with this. I mean, outfit. I look better than you just say so. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's that. You know what I'm saying? Three, two. <laughs> One, we, we are, are going, going to France, France Italy, Italy, and Spain. Yes, 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 yes. And if you guys know, I feel like the OGs know, but Italy is like one of Brandon's dream, dream, dream trips. So we'll actually be going like twice this year. But right. this one, we're going on a cruise. Yeah. Um, with Celebrity Cruises. I think it's called Celebrity Cruises. Celebrity line. Cruises, yeah. Yeah. So that's gonna be so fun. And guys, guess what, man? Okay, so yes, Italy is my dream destination, but I will be in Rome at the Colosseum, my yeah. favorite all time place to go. Yeah, dude. It's, what? It's about to go down. We're gonna take y'all along with everything y'all already know. Like y'all are coming, coming with us. Y'all coming. But just know we are so, so, so excited and yeah. so happy and so overwhelmed actually because this came out of, well, I mean, we had like 
four days in total to prepare. We found out about this trip on Saturday when While we were we in were Chicago. In, yeah, when we were in Chicago. And they told us, oh, by the way, you guys are leaving Thursday. And I was like, because normally I'm a planner, right? And this was kind of last minute. So I was like, ooh, I don't know how we're going to do this. But. Yeah, it was funny because I'm like, I had to convince him because he's that much of a planner and yeah. that like serious about times and everything like that. I had to convince him that we should go to Italy. I'm like, Italy is already... their dream vacation. But he was just like, I don't have time to prepare and everything's not prepared. And, and, and also like, I was like, you know, we got two trips in June back to back. So it's like, how are we going to do this trip? And the other two trips. Yeah. And with my time off and stuff like that, but luckily I was good and yeah. So yeah, it's we so cool. We're so excited. So excited. We're so excited. Um. So yeah, that's where we're going. And actually, when y'all watch this vlog, so this is Wednesday, and we leave tomorrow. Yeah. Literally. In the morning. In the morning. And the y'all, the plane ride is literally an entire day. We're gonna be on the plane. Yeah. The entire day. So you'll probably won't hear from us on any of our socials, but um. Y'all are the first to know, so yeah. we love you so much. And we and the next time y'all will see the next time y'all will see us will be in Barcelona, Spain. Yeah, that's maybe the on the stop. plane, maybe not, but for sure it'd be Barcelona, Spain. That's yeah. the next time y'all gonna see us. That's the first stop. The first stop, baby. Yeah!